welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi there, my name is Tammy. Please stick around. And to my returning subscriber friends, welcome guys. Thank you again so much for clicking to watch this video. So today I am, you know, going to show you how I recreated Adana Madueke. I think that's how I, her name is pronounced, but she's also known as, I believe it's also called The Jenny Beauty. So you guys can check out her channel. So I follow her. I really love her channel. I love how she always recreates such really great um, hair tutorials. And I figured let me give one of her tutorials a try, which is the jumbo, jumbo braids, but with a different um, type of technique that she has showed us, uh, her viewers. And I figured let me give it a try and see if I can recreate it the best way I can. And if you're interested in watching how I uh, struggle through this, uh, but at least this is the outcome of it. Please continue watching and I hope you uh, would stick around to the end of the video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up by liking as well as subscribe if you've not subscribed yet. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> okay, so I have stretched my hair and I used my Revlon um, brush to stretch my hair on low heat. Not even for long really because I kind of kept it stretched overnight but then just to give it a little bit more length and smoothness. Then I soaked my rubber bands in my oil. That way it doesn't tug on my hair. And then this is the pattern that I have created so far. It's gonna be a jumbo. Let's see. So um, my goal is to do about 24, 20 to 24 big jumbo braids. So I tried a little bit to try to get my part pattern straight you know i'm gonna be doing this behind the scene and, and i'll just be showing you my progress all right stay tuned guys thanks for watching so far okay so i just wanted to show you guys the brand of hair i'm using it's these uh triple uh, spectra miracle fiber stretch braid it's already easy stretched stretched and it's 25 um inches yeah i got it for 4.99 at my local beauty supply store so what I have done, which I'm gonna, I'm doing it in my bed, my bathroom, is I'm opening them up and then I'm going to um, take my the portion of hair and put it on like a railing in my bathroom, so it's easy for me to just grab and braid as I go. Starting with one pack and then, well, one pack of three because it's three in each, and we'll see how it goes. I'm actually watching Adana's um, tutorial as I'm doing this so that I can kind of show you guys as well. I don't know. It's not. A, this is not a tutorial. This is just me attempting her braid style, and I think it's really easy, and and I like it. But I just want to show you. This is the back of my braids, um, and you guys can check out her channel. So she's she gave a really good in-depth tutorial. I'm just gonna try my best to show you how I I did my own braid using her technique. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with the Edge Booster Stronghold Water Base Homemade Pomade in the pineapple scent. And I think that's what's really helped with me being able to grip my hair a little bit smoother, making my braids much you know, smoother. <laughs> Okay, so you, what you want to do is part your natural hair in half as, most, as best as you can and then you place the extension in between the part and then you take your oiled elastic band, put you, both your natural hair together and then you twist it around about three to maybe five times would be best, but you don't want it too tight. You want it tight enough but not too tight. And then you part your natural hair part if, um, in the middle and tie it tighten it up. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the pomade, smooth it on my hair as best as I possibly can so that it will blend into the extension. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the extension parts of it and also take a little bit part on each end of each extension to make a third part so that it's all about an equal amount and then I'm going to take one part of my natural hair blend it in with an extension, another part of my natural hair, and blend it in into another extension. And then I just start braiding all three braids within the extension by hiding my natural hair while I'm braiding. So 
So right here, I'm just showing you how I'm braiding as slowly as I can. This is in real time. I'm taking my time so that I can kind of feel for my natural hair and also feel for the uh, extension. And it's an, in a way I'm tucking it in so that it's not, you can't really see my natural hair. Now I'm just holding the braid in between my teeth in order to have a better grip on uh, braiding the tips because it can get a little slippery, you know, since I've been holding, using the pomade, it gets a little slippery. So I just want to guys show you guys where I'm at now. Um, I'm probably about halfway now. This is how much I have done so far. Again, you're gonna part your hair in half and then you put the extension in between and then you put your oiled rubber band and hold both your natural hair together and you tighten it up about three to about four or five um, times around with the rubber band. And then you put your gel or whatever pomade that you like to use and you put it on your natural hair. Um, what I actually did was I actually also sprayed my natural hair a little bit. As you can see, the extension is really loose. It's not very tight. And then I will just do the same thing that I did earlier by blending my natural hair into the extension and then make it, putting it in three parts by taking a couple of uh, hair from each end and then you braid in it as smoothly as possible. I part my natural hair in two as well so that it's not too thick on each strand of extension. my final look well not look but the final braids I'm gonna give you a quick 360 or whatever you want to call it it's still wet because I put it in hot water and it's not the neatest but it's decent it's actually better than my previous ones I think I did okay um, the only thing is that next time I'm not going to use the style factor um, edge booster pomade. I'm not going to use this because this was making my hair white and I'm pretty sure it's probably even if my hair was neat, uh, was freshly washed it might still make it white but my hair was is not it's not that dirty it just has a leave-in conditioner in it but it made it white so I had to keep spraying it like I said before and I know Adana mentioned that this is better which is this is the Gorilla Snot Gel. The other thing is um, I used, I mixed the Aben 24 hour edge tamer. I mixed it with the style factor throughout. That's really all I used. It's still kind of probably white in some areas and not plus it doesn't really lay my edges. So I don't really bother. I actually am, I'm okay if my edges are not like extra laid, you know, but that's a good thing because that means my hair is not being pulled and there's not much of product in it so I'm okay with that um, then I use this after whoops whoa good catch I use this after which is the olive oil ORS wrap set mousse after I had dipped my hair sorry I'm the, the Sun is literally so bright out right now that's what I'm filming with but after I dip my hair in hot water I used this mousse you know on the body of my hair and also at the tips a little bit too just to kind of keep it um, I guess neat and fresh 
So I think I want to say I have about 22 to 23 braids in my hair. Um, just from counting, I don't want to count in front of you guys, but that's that's not a lot, which is good, and it's not heavy. And I think the technique is really good for those that are beginners, as well as if you don't want your braids, not braids, but if you don't want your roots to be pulled, it's like, I don't feel t t any tightness at all. I can literally put my hair up, like right now. I could put it all the way up and it doesn't hurt at all. So I definitely, if I, if, I mean, every time I do my braids, this is what I'll be doing. This technique is much easier for me. Not necessarily easier, but much better for my roots, for my hair, and it doesn't pull at it at all. So thank you, Adana, for making such great videos on your channel. And um, if you guys want to check her account, or not account, her channel out, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know her because she's like a huge YouTuber. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. And if you did like it, please do give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you've not subscribed yet. Also, if you want to, um, if you think you're going to try this or if you think you can try this at home, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm really liking it. It's so cute. I think it's really cute. <laughs> it's a cute style. Anyway, so let me know down in the comment section below if you're going to give this, this, uh, this a try because I'm not a good braider, but I think I did okay. I tried. I managed. Thank you again so much for watching and also don't forget to be thankful and I'll see you next time. Bye.